There continues to be a political divide over the contentious removal of auxiliary fees in secondary school. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says the government intends to do away with auxiliary fees at the start of the September 2016-2017 academic year. However, the opposition and several secondary school administrators are against the move. Despite the growing opposition to the proposal, Mr. Holness says the government is moving ahead with its plans. Mr. Holness says education must be seen as a fundamental right and no child should be denied access to school because of his or her inability to afford fees. When a child sits the grade 6 achievement test, they are asked to choose the school they would like to attend, Mr. Speaker. And in that choice, there is no question that says to the parent, can you afford this school? The only requirement for entry into the school is that you meet the grade. Here, here. And so, Mr. Speaker, it has been our tradition, our history, that we place children coming from varying economic backgrounds, regardless of their social or socioeconomic ability. They are placed in a school without consideration for the fees that that school has. So, Mr. Speaker, we could never countenance a policy where children who do well at GSAC or whatever examination may replace that, that their entitlement to a place in a high school becomes compromised by their inability to afford fees. He rubbished the arguments that the removal of auxiliary fees will further deplete schools' resources. But the Prime Minister notes that based on the data, only 49% of students have been paying auxiliary fees. And what we are doing, Mr. Speaker, is to give schools a more reliable, certain and dependent stream of funding which will enable them to execute the program that will improve the education offer. I can't see the logic, Mr. Speaker, for persons to complain about the government moving from 2.6 billion to 5.3 billion the support to schools. I can't see the logic behind that comment, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, education is just too important for there to be any barriers to access. To implement no auxiliary fee plan, the government will be doubling its subvention to high schools from $2.6 billion to $5.3 billion. But opposition spokesman on education, Ronald Thwaites, believes the government should pump the extra resources into the early childhood education sector. The Prime Minister could assist me, please, by pointing out the heads under the budget where this doubling that is going to be available to the secondary schools is provided. I would be happy to pass him my copy if one is not available to him. If you are looking to even out the system, the policy of removing tuition fee is what actually accounted for a 10% bump upwards in enrollment and attendance at the secondary level. When we introduced that policy in 2007, there was a 10% increase by 2011, which placed us on the road to universal secondary education. So I, I, I don't want, Mr. Speaker, for us to divide politically on the issue. I'm agreeing with you. More money needs to be spent at the primary level. Yes. But there is an imperative, an imperative that comes from having unattached young people. Mm -hmm. An imperative that comes from the murder rate that yes. we have. Yes. An imperative that comes from the number of young people who are victims of crime and perpetrators of crime. An imperative that comes, Mr. Speaker, for economic growth and job creation, yes. Yes. where the resources that lie in the 
labor and creativity of those young people must never, Mr. Speaker, be imperiled by the reluctance of the state to fund their education yes. such that they can be yes, productive yes. citizens of this country.